Hi guys, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Kyra and here on this channel, we love our makeup, but I'm also a recovering beauty guru, which means for the last six years, I bought anything and everything I could get my happy little hands on in the realm of beauty and now I'm reining myself in. I'm tracking what I have, I'm using what I have, and one of the ways that I do both of those things is through project panning. And this is my second quarter update today for my year long 2024 rolling project pan. A lot of people do tend to use this type of project, a year long project in order to finish things, hit pan on things, but I just kind of use this project in any way that I see fit in order to meet my overarching makeup goals for the year. So some products I'm looking to finish, some products I'm looking to hit pan on, and some products I'm giving a usage goal so that I can better determine how I feel about the product. In the future, I am going to be updating this project monthly. This is a hot mess today and hopefully you will enjoy it regardless of that. With a project like this, once a quarter is just not enough. I've had a lot of movement in this project, both ins and outs and, you know, goals met, goals not met, things decluttered. So we are gonna go through it all today. I've taken pictures of all of these products for the ones that have been in previously. I have multiple pictures, but some of them are, you know, just a one-off picture because this is the first time I'm updating on these products. But like I said, going forward, I'll update this on the first of every month and that'll be that. So I'll have updates every month on the first, the fifth, the 10th, the 15th, and the 20th for projects. Those are all the projects I'm doing this year. I struggled with the best way to go about this. And I honestly think the best way is just to go in order by way of how I would apply things to the face. All right, so let's start with primer, starting with one that I finished. I did completely finish up the Ciate London Vitamin Boost uh, Plumping Primer here. It was okay. I didn't really feel like it did a whole lot, and if I'm being honest, but it wasn't bad, and so I just went ahead and used it up. So that is going in my empties. One that I have rolled out and officially decluttered, and you would have seen that if you saw my primer declutter, is this Weeshery primer from the Beauty Crop. I just don't like it. It has a strong cherry scent. It does tint the skin slightly red. I don't find it to be very gripping, and it's a little bit too hydrating for my skin. I just don't really have any desire to use it up. So that one is rolling out and being decluttered. So the primers I'm currently using in this project are the e.l.f. mini power grip primer here and you'll be able to see on the side where I started. I have had a couple of uses since marking this, since taking progress pictures. So I'll give you a look of where I am now, just slightly under the line. And then the other primer I'm currently working on is this mini or sample size of the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder. And I do really enjoy this. I think this is the perfect sort of mattifying or oil controlling primer that I have in my arsenal. I do have a backup sample of this as well but I have a feeling once those two are finished, I will definitely repurchase the full size. So for the e.l.f. Power Grip so far in this project, my goal is to finish it, but I've so far used it three times since rolling it in. So that is the progress you're seeing there, as well as the Danessa Myricks Blurring Balm Powder. I have used eight times total in this project. And again, my goal is to finish. Whoa. For foundation, I have three, and the one that has been in the project the longest is this Shiseido Synchro Skin Skin Tint. My goal is to finish it. I had 12 uses out of the two before I decanted it in April, and since then, I've used it six times. I decanted it into this e.l.f. eye cream, and this is the foundation I have 
on today and you know I have a good amount left at first I thought it was gonna be too light for me so I honestly would have worked on this more prior to this update had I realized that but now I'll keep on keeping on with it the reason that I chose this one to use up as well as my rare beauty tinted moisturizer is because they have sunscreen in them and I don't like to mess around with expired sunscreen, so I just want to use them up and move them out of my collection. But total uses so far on this product in this project is 18 uses. And then I decided from there, I just kind of wanted to get some usage on all of my foundations. So what I decided to do from there is apart from whatever I'm trying to finish in the foundation category, I wanna be rolling in things that work for me for this time of year and get 10 uses on each of them. So the two that I'm currently working on are the Cali Ray Free Dreaming Skin Wellness Diffusing Tint in the shade three as well as my Maybelline Superstay Skin Tint in the shade 120. I do really enjoy both of these. This one, however, I just got this last summer um, in PR and I loved it, but it's separated. And even though you'll be able to hear, it has something in there to help mix it up. It just won't mix. It's staying separated. When I rub it together in my fingers and apply like that, I can get it you know mixed together a little better but it's definitely turning me off from wanting to use this but i am alas going to get my 10 uses i currently have two uses on this one so i'll have eight more before i roll this one out and then on the maybelline superstay skin tint i actually am really enjoying this right now it's a good shade match for me and i have so far used this one five times so halfway through on that one, and I feel like that's going to help me meet my overarching goal on foundation, which is for everybody to get a little bit of love, but to also manage expiration on products. So that's why I'm working on the Shiseido one. So concealer has been on a little bit of a journey this year, and that is for good reason. I started off with the Glossier concealer this year, and I did manage to hit pan on that one. So that one has rolled out. And then from there, I rolled in my Wet n Wild Incognito Concealer here. This is in the shade Light Beige, and I love this. It's a great concealer. However, I did roll it out after 23 uses because it was just getting too light for me for the time of year that it is. And again, with concealers, I'm not only trying to use up things that are older, but I'm also trying to manage my collection and get a little use on everybody. So I was perfectly fine to roll this out after 23 uses. From there, I did roll in my Maybelline Fit Me concealer. This is one of my very favorite concealers. It's a great tone for me for during the summer. I knew that already. So that was why I chose to roll this in. And I also really enjoy this one. It's not so brightening on me. I do have a brighter color, but this one is not so bright on me that I can't just use it all over the face on a day where I want to spot conceal and conceal the under eyes and not wear foundation. But also this is one of the older concealers in my collection. So I do want to get my use out of it. So far in this project, I have used this one 18 times and i'm really happy with that i definitely am you know i have a lot more windowing in here than when i originally started you'll be able to see my starting line but also i think it's further down now in the packaging like where the product actually is it's just hugging on the sides here so you know it'll be done when it gets done but i'm happy to be working on this one it's one that i've always wanted to work on in a project so now i am and then unfortunately i had rolled in another one because it's a clean brand i know a lot of people have had this particular concealer go rancid on them expire and so i was like Ugh, mine's getting old i probably should start working on that and that is my kosas revealer concealer unfortunately I only got five uses out of it before I realized it is not only expired, which I can tell by the scent, but it started to 
burn my eyes if I got any, you know, too close to the tear duct or something like that. So unfortunately that one had to leave the project and my collection. Let us talk bronzer because there's been a lot of movement in the bronzer department in this project. First of all, for cream bronzers, I'm working on one at a time and just, you know, setting goals as I go. But powder bronzers, I have an overarching goal this year to hit pan on as many powder bronzers as I possibly can. And through this project, I have done some of that. So starting with the cream bronzer that I've been working on since the beginning of this project. I believe I started this in February or March. I can't remember. This was the one that I put in at the intro thinking, oh, it's not going to take very long. There's hardly anything left. And that is my Fenty Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Bronzer. This is the shade Butter Biscuit. And again, my goal is to finish it. And alas, she is not finished. <laughs> There is very little left in the pan. And I, again, I think it's only gonna be a couple of days and I'm gonna have this finished. So I will roll in a new cream bronzer in today's update, but I'm very happy that I'm getting there. But if I'm counting this right, it sounds, it looks like I have 43 total uses on this bronzer. And you'll see from the pictures that I really didn't have that much to use up since the beginning of the year and I've been working on it. I did work on another cream bronzer briefly in my deck of panning um, video series. But like I said, this is going to be gone in a matter of days and then I will have a new one rolling in. And I'm very excited, honestly, to use this up. At first I was a little like sad about using up my very favorite cream bronzer. It's a perfect shade for me. It's the perfect texture for my oily skin. It's easy to apply, it's easy to blend, all the things. Like if I had to recommend one cream bronzer out of all of my cream and liquid bronzers, it would be this one. But my Milani cream bronzer has a very similar tone and finish and all the things. So I feel okay with using this one up now. And of course, I wanna use it up before it actually expires, expires on me, because it's definitely expired. So my first powder bronzer that I had in this project this year was my Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in the shade Sunset Strip Tease. And again, I had the goal to hit pan, and I did finally hit pan in 26 uses. I do really love this bronzer and it's quite sheer. So um, it is beautiful for layering. It's beautiful by itself and it's a great tone for summer. It's kind of golden. It has a little bit of a sheen to it. So I love this bronzer. And again, it's one of those where I really suspected I would have hit pan sooner, but like, you know, alas, it did take me 26 uses. From there, I rolled in my e.l.f. Primer Infused Bronzer in the shade Forever Sun Kissed. And again, the goal was to hit pan. And I did hit pan after exactly 20 uses. That's what this one looks like. Nice little pan. You can see that the pan is very central and that is because I mostly use this to like, as a transition shade for eyeshadow or to blend the edges of my eyeshadow. And so that's why the pan's quite central and looks, you know, you can see the depth of the pan and that is because my brush really was concentrated in the center. Um, and then I've used it two more times since hitting pan on it. So that's two bronzers so far that I've hit pan on in this project this year. And I'm very happy with that. And so the bronzer that I am currently working on is my Clinique Powder Pop Flower Bronzer in the shade Solar Pop. And from here, I decided that I would give myself an out on products that maybe I decide after rolling them in that maybe hitting pan is not going to be super feasible or it's going to slow down my progress on my overarching goals for my makeup this year. For this one, I did set the goal to hit pan or at least 24 uses. 
because it's 20, 24, so why not? But this one has a lot of good use on it. I love this beautiful embossing of the flowers on here and everything, and it's just beautiful. I really enjoy it. It's, you know, I don't think I'm anywhere close to hitting pan. Um, it is a baked pro product, so I imagine that there is a ceramic tile at the bottom of this, but I don't know. I also have the highlighter for this one, and that would be one that I would love to work on at some point in the future. But for now, I have six uses on this one, and I love it. It's really beautiful. It has a great sort of ruddy undertone, like reddish, I feel like. And so it's really great for summer. Oh, I forgot powder. Okay, well, let's do that. <laughs> For powder, the only one I've been working on in this project is my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish in the shade 1 Fair. I have a really nice size pan on this one now, which I am very excited about. I mostly use this for setting my under eyes, for setting my concealer. I do sometimes use it all over the skin. But especially now that I'm in the warmer months, this really isn't quite enough for me to set my makeup with. So it just depends on the day. If I'm not gonna be wearing my makeup for very long or something, I might use it all over the face, but mostly as an under eye powder and I'm okay with that. 49 uses on that powder. So we'll see how many uses it will take to finish that one off, but I do enjoy it for my under eyes and I'm not really in a hurry. I like to do a highlighter after bronzer, so we'll talk about that one next. And the only one in this project so far this year is my teeny tiny, like deluxe size of the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed in the shade Opal. My goal is to finish this and I did repress this at the end of February. In the first quarter, I used it 12 times, and in the second quarter, I used it 12 times, and I used it again today, which I'm technically counting as the third quarter, but overall, I have 25 uses on this one, and it's again, it's a beauty. I It's getting really thin in there, and the pan gets larger by the day, so I do feel pretty confident, especially if I really hone in and concentrate on this one for summer that I will finish this before the end of the year. And this will be the first highlight I've ever finished, even though it is teeny tiny. I will say that my progress on this one has been a little disrupted because I've had about 50, not really, but a ton of highlighters rolling into my Project 10 uses. So that slowed the progress down on the Becca a little bit, but it's still good. It's still good. Even though it holds the progress on this a little bit, I am getting through and getting some use on all of my highlighters, which I am definitely a fan of. Now let's talk blush. So the first blush that I put into this project at the beginning of the year is my Physician's Formula Butter Blush in the shade Vintage Rouge. And my goal is to hit pan. Let's smell it. Oh, that smell is ever fading because it's old, but I love this blush. So my goal is to hit pan on this. I, I will admittedly say that I have kind of neglected this so far this year. I thought, oh, easy peasy. I love this blush. It's a sentimental blush to me. I've worn it for many special occasions in my life, including my sister's wedding. It's just a beautiful color. It suits me. It is the blush that I have on my cheeks today. So in the first quarter, I used it 10 times. And then in the second quarter, I only used it six times. And then of course today. So I definitely need to give a little more attention to that one, especially through the summer where it suits my skin the best, I think. And then I also had in a cream blush from the intro and it was my Tower 28 Beach Please blush in the shade Magic Hour with the goal to either hit pan or make progress. Mentioned in the intro that I was afraid that this was expiring, which of course all makeup is in the in the process of expiring as are we, but 
I what I did was I really sprayed this down with alcohol and then I not only wiped off the packaging but I wiped the very top layer of the blush and after that it didn't have sort of that crayony smell anymore and I was happy to use it. So my goal, like I said, was either to hit pan or just make progress before it expires. And I hit pan and I feel really good about it. It's one of my only cream blushes with pan. And it took me, it took me 23 uses to hit pan. And it's a nice, decent size little pan, not a pin prick or anything. It was funny because from the back, I could see it coming for quite a while. Like I could see where it was sheer, sheer in the middle, even through the label on the back of this. But it took a while after that or several uses after that before I could actually see the pan. So I feel very happy about that. It's going back in my collection and I'm going to work on another cream blush that's older in my collection, but I'll show you that in a minute. The next blush that I rolled into the project was my mini hourglass blush in the shade Mood Exposure. This is my favorite blush, period, hands down. Once I finish this, I will be aching to repurchase it and honestly, I might go for the full size because this has aged really beautifully. This is one of the very first, it might have been the very first Hourglass product I ever purchased. And that was like almost seven years ago when I first started my channel. But the goal is to finish this one. You'll be able to see, maybe not here, but from the pictures, this has got a great amount of progress on it. I have used this one 23 times, no, 24 times. And I'm very happy about that. And while it's hard to see, right over here, the it's so thin, like you can hear, that's the tile. There's no product there. I have a feeling in next month's update, we'll see a lot of that ceramic pan over there. And I think I will kind of focus my brush over there so we can kind of see what we're working with in terms of how much product is left. So very happy with that progress. And the cream blush that I did roll into the project to work on is another that again is older in my collection and some things that I want to get use on before it expires and that is my Honest Beauty Creme Cheek blush in the shade Rose Pink and my goal is to hit pan on this one. I do have a cute little dip in there so I don't think you know it would take too too long but we'll find out. I have only used this once in the second quarter because it, it was the, this is the last very last thing that I've rolled in. So um, have not used that one just yet, but looking forward to it. And then let us talk before we talk lips, let's talk face palettes. I have rolled in my Charlotte Tilbury instant look in a palette, gorgeous glowing beauty palette into this project originally with the goal to hit pan on each of the face shades. There are four face shades in this palette and there are three eyeshadows. And then <laughs> I just, I don't know, I was like, do I really want to pan this all year or do I want to make sure that all of my face palettes are getting some love? And ultimately I decided on the latter. So then I changed my goal to 10 uses on every sh like face shade in the palette. And I've now done that and I feel really good about the progress that was made on this. You can barely see the embossing on any of the face shades now. And I actually found a combination one shade that was always hard for me to use in this palette was this blush topper. It's called the blush pop shade, I believe. I absolutely love mixing this with this and it makes the perfect highlighter. This can be a little light for me, especially as I my skin gets darker a little bit naturally in the summer. So um, mixing them together was perfect and I really, really enjoyed this. I definitely have a visible dip um, that is almost the size of the whole pan in the bronzer and 
you know, it just reaffirms for me how much I love and enjoy this palette. So that one is rolling out. So for the bronzer, I used that 11 times. The blush topper, I used 10 times. The blush, I used 10 times. And the highlight, I used 14 times. So good usage. Glad to have done that. And now I'm ready to move on to a new face palette. And I decided I should roll in my one and only cream. Well, totally cream. I have creams and other uh, face palettes, but my one and only all cream palette and get some usage on it because it's something that I don't use very often. And that's really sad because these are beautiful products and I did pay for them myself. So I'm pulling in my custom Salt New York palette. I have four shades in here. I have a bronzer, two blush, and the highlighter. And as cream products, you know, they do expire faster than other products. So I don't want that to happen, especially because I purchased them myself. They're not exorbitantly expensive, but you know, they're not cheap. So I want to get use out of them. I think summer is the perfect time for these shades for me. And so again, I went with the goal that I sort of adapted this one too, and I'm going to keep this one in until I hit 10 uses on all the shades, on each shade. And so far I've used it zero times because I've just been working on other things. I currently have a face palette in my project 10 uses, yada yada, but very exciting to be working on that one. And lastly, we have lippies, and I'm gonna start with the ones that I have finished off. I'm a habitual lip product person, if not an obsessive lip product person. It's kind of a sensory thing for me. And so I, I go through, I have lip products all over the house and I use them up fairly quickly. So the one that was in the intro that I did go ahead and finish up is my Fenty Gloss Balm Mini in the shade Fussy. It's some sides of the packaging it looks like there's more in there and other sides not so much but this is very old and honestly I did not want to scrape this out kind of grosses me out so it's done. Then I rolled in my Lime Crime Wet Cherry Gloss in the shade Extra Poppin. This is the clear shade. I don't have a starting mark on this one but it is finished so Finally, you can throw that in the trash. And then this one I do have a mark on, and that is my Say Beauty Glossy Bounce Lip Oil in the shade Bounce. And you'll be able to see that I did have a starting mark for this one. So you can see, you know, that I have in fact used it up. I did not pull the stopper on this one. I just don't enjoy doing that. It has to be something that I love so much that I'm not willing to part with it until every speck is used up. And then I have a couple I'm currently working on. Um, I'm not going to even write them down or anything like that anymore. But for example, I'm working on this Paracone MD, uh, no makeup makeup lip oil in the shade pink grapefruit. And you can see where my starting mark is. And you know, that'll probably be an empty within a month or two. And then I decided to roll in some other lip products, some more long-term gold lip products, starting with liners. I have my Milani Understatement lip liner in the shade Desert Rose, and there just isn't all that much left of this. So I thought just go ahead and use it up and have another empty in the books. Then I decided to roll in my oldest, I was gonna say longest, my oldest lip liner, which is my ColourPop BFF2 lip liner. And you know, the packaging alone should state how old this probably is because the packaging on the lippy pencils has not been white for a long time, but you know, it performs the same, it smells the same, all things. And I love this color. And so I am working to use that one up. And then I decided to roll in both of my Milani color statement lip liners. I have the shades Nude and All Natural. 
all natural I definitely use more which you can probably see by the heights of the pencils just a little bit uh, the shade nude is a little bit more pinky and that's just something I don't tend to gravitate toward as much whereas the all natural shade is definitely more of a nude but they're easy to use and they're pencils and I thought you know what the heck roll them in and they are older in my collection as well the bff2 i have eight uses on the milani understatement and desert rose i have six uses on and then the milani color statement in nude i have two uses on and the Milani Color Statement Lip Liner in All Natural, I have 10 uses on. And then I have two lipsticks in this project. One of them is the sample size. It's this Tarte C H2O Balm in the shade Hang 10. And it's a decent kind of everyday pinky nude shade. That's all there is in there. And I have used this one nine times since putting it in the project and I one thing I will say in terms of notable visual progress for myself because I don't know if I have a starting pick for this I don't think I do is you can just now barely see it over the top of the packaging and before you know it was definitely all the way above the packaging so i do feel good about that progress and i'll just keep working on it and then one i thought i was going to use a ton and just haven't yet and probably honestly should have used today would have been a good fit with this look is my nars velvet matte lip pencil in the shade dulce vita i've only used this twice since putting it in the project um, and it's a really pretty shade and I, I don't know how far down the product goes in these little guys here But these are discontinued because the shade is so pretty To me, it's kind of like a pinky rosy ready Terracotta, I don't know. It's really beautiful. So I need to get more use on that There's probably not a ton of product left in here if I had to guess based on the type of like pencil product that it is swatch the other one for you as well kind of similar but in a glossy version i guess but it is a kind of color that i would wear pretty frequently so just keep on keeping on with those so i totally forgot that i had products to roll in so let's briefly talk about those and then i will put them in my panning journal but because i have the fenty cream bronzer that's going to be gone in just a couple of days i want to roll in a new cream bronzer but i'm not right quite ready to commit to like trying to finish it or hit pan on it because it is so old in my collection that i need to test its performance before i would commit to that and that bronzer is my Huda Beauty Tan Tour in the shade Fair. This is a lovely product. Unfortunately, not one that I have reached for as much as I thought I would in past. So this is what it looks like. It does have a little dip, but not much. It doesn't smell off-putting just yet, but I'm gonna put this one in for 10 uses and then we'll go from there. If it's something then at that point, Maybe I want to work on hitting pan on. This is extremely pigmented though. So even if I do love it, I don't know that I really want to work on panning this, but maybe just get some more use on it. Maybe if after 10 uses, I find that it is a good product still, I'll put it in for the 24 uses and feel good about that. But that one is rolling in. And then I felt like I wanted to add another bronzer into this project, a powder bronzer. And that is, I love the Clinique and I love using this one on my face, but I have this other bronzer, I'll just say it is my Fenty Beauty, the Sunstalker Instant Warmth Bronzer in the shade 01 in the sun. And you'll see, I don't really have a ton of progress on this one. And I obviously enjoyed using my e.l.f. one as an eyeshadow and this one is very similar. So why not work on it and work on hitting pan in it even if it's as an eyeshadow? Like look at that. 
it's practically the same product so I thought let's roll this one in let's count count the usage and track it all and everything and work on hitting pan on this one even if it's just as an eyeshadow because again trying to hit those bronzer pans this year so those are my roll-ins for now that, my friends <laughs> is the end of this update i think we can talk more in other updates in the future when we don't have so much to cover things like you know how many products i've used up or met goal or hit pan on so far this year but i just wanted to share with you where we're at now and if you stuck it through to the end of this video throw a sunshine emoji down in the comments because i want to thank you personally for watching this entire train wreck but i have great pictures now as i hope you would have seen in the things that i put put up on the screen and in the future it will be a lot simpler and I'm looking forward to that actually so i hope you enjoyed today's update and i hope all of your makeup days are absolutely beautiful makeup days and i will see you in my next video very very soon bye